what up snapchat so it's not even four o'clock in the morning but i'm on my way out to the garage for the first time of the morning so as per usual i have to move vicky and get bessie and put bessie over here and get the fire going so we're getting the water getting the uh, smoker bessie fill of water and i'm about to get the fire going had to clean out the firebox let's get Got the little weed burner. So I'll fill it up maybe halfway, then once I get the fire going, I'll stuff the firebox full of splits. All right, so the uh, fire is going. I'm gonna go ahead and stuff the firebox full of wood and then go inside, season the meat. I'll be back. This right here is the reason I do this before the sun comes up or after the sun goes down. This thick white smoke drives my neighbors crazy. So this is what it looks like from the other side. And you see how fast the smoke is rolling? The fire is going. It won't be long before that thick white smoke is gone. All right, this morning I'm cooking pork shoulder, ribs, chicken breast and thighs, beef ribs, beef brisket, and we have some lamb. All right, gang, I just wanted to give you some perspective on these beef ribs. Yeah, they're, they're huge. These are about five pounds average. Ribs are three bone, one, two, one, two, three. Three bone prime plate ribs. Everybody should have some smoked salt, right? Yep. Sure should. See, this is the stuff they don't tell you about. Like when you open up the pack of chicken and it smells horribly because it's bad. Yeah, my luck. So Bessie is chugging away, rated about 275. Once I get it opened up and uh, put the meat inside, I'll drop my temperature down. A clean smoker is a happy smoker. So he steam cleaned it out real quick. All right, so there's the brisket, beef ribs, pork shoulder, baby backs, lamb, and oh, we're missing a chicken. Just one more example of what really happens behind the scenes. Snapchat's reality, Instagram is perception. I thought Sam's opened at six. They open at seven. Guess who's gotta go back home and then come back up here? Back in Sam's. Hopefully I can find exactly what I'm looking for quickly without having to do a whole bunch of hunting. Got the chicken. I get people asking me about how I can leave the smoker. So what I do is I load it up. And then when I load it up, I have about an hour before I have to attend to it. If I were cooking in one of the drums or in Vicky, which is uh, charcoal, then it would pretty much be set it and forget it. I could walk away for a couple hours. But that's definitely not the case with Bessie. I have to stay on top of making sure that she's fed, basically. You already know what it is. Lamb's done. I know there are probably a lot of people that dislike the rain. I actually kind of like the rain for selfish reasons, especially when I'm cooking, because the rain knocks down the smoke. Only downside is that my driveway gets turned into a muddy mess that leads into a little lake. See them bones poking through? That's when you know they're done. That moment when you got a friend that works for an airline and he touched down in uh, Baltimore and he hit me up for some ribs, that works.
This is nothing but the END. The END. The END. Bonus points if you know who sang that. Good cook. Thanks for watching.